Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Raina. If you're new here, then welcome. Today I'm filming one of my favorite videos and I've been waiting for a while for this one, which is the Chemist Warehouse, the free gift bag with coaches. I actually was planning to upload my September shopping haul tomorrow, but I think I will do this one for you guys because this is a current running promotion and it literally started as I'm filming and then runs for I think it's two weeks unless a sold out before. Um, you spent $60 on, um, let me have a quick look, just double check, facial skincare, therapeutic skincare, hair care and cosmetic purchase in one transaction excluding hair loss, anti-dandruff and headlines purchases in store only, not to use with any other offer, strictly well last and stock made different per bag, one bag per person. I did saw a few posts online and it is slightly different. So I'll let you know all the differences that I can remember. I spend on some facial skincare and sun care to get this purchase. They are having a lot of sales at the moment as well, which if I can film my phone, I can show you all the sales. If you're getting it on sale and you're still getting this gift bag, so you're actually saving a bit. One of the things that I did is I had a Visa gift card that I purchased from Kohl's. You know, they have like, oh, purchase $100, give you $10 back. You do have to pay $5 for the fee. So it's like 5% off. So I used to those. So whatever I'm purchasing, I'm giving that extra 5% off and then you give a free bag. I know it's a bit of like a depositing money in an advance, but if you do have the free money and you have like offer to go for, it's actually not a bad idea. Okay, so the deals that I'm seeing participating is Bandai Sands, which I purchased a few skincare. There is 40% uh, off. Um, Garnier, 50% uh, off. Neutrogena, 50% off. Suking, 50% off. Emco Beauty, 50% off. But the store that I have, they have pretty much none of their product. So I can't pick up anything, but if you do have it in store, Amco Beauty is a really good one. I did review one of their uh, makeup products uh, recently, yes. So I can leave that video link somewhere you want to check it out and grab a good bargain out of it. Anti Post 40% off, uh, Trilogy 50% off, Sweets 50% off. I do have two videos about sweet skincare and I'm about to film another one. Maybe not this week, I'm still trying a few, maybe next week. Give you guys a full update. I'm planning to do all about sweet skincare as well, so maybe stay tuned, consider subscribe. Uh, Dr. Levis, 40% off. Skin Doctors, 50% uh, off. They have really good capsules, retinoid and vitamin C. Those serums, Olay, 50% off. Skin Republic, 40% off. Bioderma, 40% off. Um, nails, Sally Haynes, 50% off. I did pick up a few things in their last sale and I forgot to show you in my shopping haul so you see them in the next shopping haul but 50% off is pretty good. They are having collaboration with Sesame Street and that is one of not my favorite when I was a kid but I kind of rewatched everything again when my sister was little so I really joined to them and they have some really fun colors. They have an orangey one and the red was kind of like sparkles within. I think one good for holiday and fall season although we're in summer but I still feel like Halloween is like orangey and then uh, Christmas for that red but slightly different. Um, makeup wise we have Maybelline 50% off, Rimmel L'Oreal Ravelon both 40% off and a lot of hair care for 40 to 50% off and My Organics which is a really popular brand recently and I haven't tried any they are 30% off as well. So because there are so many sales, I would recommend to go for the sale product and then get a free bag. So you don't have to pay extra just because you're wanting the free bag. There are a few full sizes here, which I'm really happy. And there are a few good travel sizes, but there are also other things like for your samples. So have a look of whether you really need it and whether you really need those products to purchase. Because $60 is not cheap, not like very expensive, but be cautious about shopping. Um, without further ado, I guess we'll just dive into it and I'll show you guys everything I purchased and then we'll go through the bags and to tell you what I think about this bag. Um, I did pick up, as I say, I was trying some Swiss product and I think I sold it somewhere but I was unable to find it but I did see it at my local price line. I mean, Chemist Warehouse. This is the Gacolic 10% resurfacing night serum. This is 30 ml and on sale price is $13.49. I have to say Swiss products are getting slightly more expensive, but 
I do really like their brand in general. So that's what it looks like here. I did say to use it only twice a week to start and then it's gradually building up. I love that good direction of use. And then I was shopping around the same aisle I saw Bandai Sands. I purchased this Plump It Up Hydrating Peptide Serum. Got 3% Matrixo and Collagen. Not soaking with the collagen, but I'm pretty happy with the Matrixo. And I have to say, I really do like their packaging. I know they were viral like a year ago when they first launched and I was trying to pick it up but last year I have to say it is a hack year for me to do some really proper reviews so if you do want to see the whole line review while there is a sale I might be able to get it and then I might be able to get another free bag and then I can give the um, gift back as a giveaway gift if that works uh, but you need to let me know whether you want to see it or not I did pick up their sunscreen and then I searched it out once I got home I saw some really um, controversial reviews. A lot of people love it and so viral, but a few like makeup or skincare review YouTuber influencer that I watch and follow and kind of like trusting, they don't really enjoy this. All they found is really tricky. And I'm like, okay, it's time just to get myself put onto the test. So the Bandai Sands one are actually not super expensive. They are only 40% off at the moment. So the serum is... $12.99 and the sunscreen it's $13.69 so they're actually quite like friendly affordable price and then another one is from the Garnier vitamin C brightening night serum this one actually contained 10% pure ascorbic acid and I'm just like that is so not Garnier because I thought Garnier will be one of those brands have a lot of mixtures in or using a vitamin C derivatives but this one that has water as the first ingredient and then ascorbic acid straight away we also have glycerin and hyaluronic acid as well so it was a really good one it is on half price sale and it's 20 dollars for 30 mil i don't think it's the most expensive one of course not but it's not the most the most affordable one either so i would consider purchase on half price sale this kind of reminds me of olay like i feel like garnier is going to get into this scientific lab etc anyway all of the four together adds up to be 60.16 so a little bit over and then i have a 20 dollars visa card let's get into the big bad boy here which is the big bag this is how everything looks inside but like they say they're not exactly the same some of the products are slightly different depends on the variation take a minute just to look at this bag i like the design of this bag it's completely clear but got this white false leather design and then have the zipper but with a gold color to it i do think it's really good and it's open up completely at, oh my gosh as if you can just fold it all the way up you can definitely use it as a makeup bag but there are so many things you can use this bag for because of the size like it's a little cube um and it's have this nice big zipper that you can completely unfold it i just think it's very versatile and i got a handle as well the first thing in the bag I see is this Aveen Tinted Compact Cream SPF 50. This is a full size and I purchased it myself before. I've got it in the shade beige. I'm just gonna have a quick look what shade that I've got so I can show you. The problem with tinted product is the shading because not everyone's gonna be perfect for whatever the shade you have. Even sometimes you call it universal. There's no such thing as a universal shade. But I'm really glad because this is really expensive. Even on half price sale, I would think around 20 to 30 dollars. Then we've also got a La Roche Posay Niacinamide 10% serum i've actually used one of this up during my holiday in hong kong and i really enjoy the serum but i dislike this packaging i don't think it's the same case if you get a full size it's just a travel size packaging it's a little bit meh we also got a toner here the thayer's facial toner the witch hazel rose petal one i actually feel like i've got a few a few full sizes from priceline and a few travel sizes either from priceline or chemist warehouse before 
Um, speaking of the multiple identical duplication things that I've got in my collection, I am planning to do another giveaway. My current giveaway is still going, so obviously it's not going to happen straight away. But if I hit 1500, then I can do a little quick giveaway. So it's not going to be super massive, but it will just be a really good thank you. A quick thank you for everyone who just recently subscribed to me. Although, um, my channel just like climbing slowly and I'm not really mad about it but who doesn't like have good numbers of viewers moving on we've got a couple of cute little travel sizes look this one is so gorgeous this is the Satterfield uh, hydrating forming cream cleanser I like a cream cleanser I love it more if it's a forming because I have a combination or not oily normal to combination and slightly oily skin if the season is really hot and steamy and I like a cream cleanser that just gently removes the things, but they're forming, so I feel like I'm cleansing properly. This is a 29 mils. Oh my god, it's so cute! I would probably keep this bottle and review some of my other cleansers. Then uh, a Vino Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This is 30 grams. I have a full size. I actually had a few, and I give a lot to my friends every time when I just going back to the country because it is good good product it's so simple so boring but it's so good you don't have to worry about whether you're sensitive skin or not it just works for pretty much everyone oily non-oily dry whatever skin type it can work also the CeraVe hydrating cleanser I've used another one of these up as well when I was traveling in Hong Kong um, it's really nice for a morning cleanser, but I don't like to use it during the night time, not as a second step of cleansing because I don't feel like it's cleansing enough of all the dirt and the residual of makeup or from the um, makeup remover that I've used. So it's a good for the morning just to get rid of the dust and oil that you produced overnight. Speaking of makeup remover, that type of product, we have a big full size here. The Swiss Masala Makeup Removing Cleansing Water with Cucumber Extract. This one is for oily to combination skin. I do agree. I do find this a little bit drying, tiny bit. Like, you know, some of the makeup remover, once you remove it, you have to go wash straight away. Whereas some of the balmy texture, you can just kind of take your time and then go ahead to the next step. This is one of the things you have to use this straight away that I don't mind. Um, but I do feel like if I was having to say, oh my God, I need to go to the toilet quickly. Oh, you know, something that I forgot I need to quickly run and get it. And then when I come back, my face is just like quite dried. And I actually still have a couple before they change their packaging and they've changed the packaging for a long time. So I have a lot is to work through because I like using a balmy rather than a mess of water. Another baby micellar water here is by the Bioderma uh, Biophasic Micellar Makeup Remover Waterproof. We have nine mils here. It is a foil sachet, but I like the design of it. Like it is small and is plastic, but it's kind of like travel friendly. I like the idea how it represents like the bottle, but it's just like a tiny small one. So for some reason I like it. They had a little baby one like this before that I have. Uh, those are really cute as well, like a really chubby little mess of water. There are actually a few more skincares here. We have the Derma In Face Ultra Light Day Lotion SPF 50 Plus. We have a 5ml sample. I got a feeling I have this from somewhere. I really love the brand of Dermaveen as a sunscreen and create a great moisturization. That is something I found it's a bit hard to combine at the same time. Sometimes you're too oily, sometimes you're too sunscreen. If you like a combination, it's a great brand. Another sunscreen is from the Bandai Suns Daily Moisturizing Face SPF 50 Plus Fragrance Free Sunscreen Lotion. This is another good one, a classic sunscreen, chemical sunscreen using traditional ingredients that is proof by TGA here. I reviewed this recently, so I'll leave that video link in case you're wondering for this particular product. Um, knowing this is also very important that when you purchase for that $60, you might don't have to purchase this one if you just want to give it a try before you go ahead to purchase the full size. I did notice some people don't have the sunscreen, they have a tanning product, which is not so much popular for me because I don't tan, I never tan. Um, but I guess in the summertime, a lot of you guys might really enjoy that over the sunscreen as well. So both of these are really good product. 
Another one with SPF is the QB Face Moisturizing Day Cream SPF 30. Uh, this is also approved by TGA, so it's a proper sunscreen and a cream together. I was almost going to purchase this one when I was in store, and then I went through the... Um, Instagram pages, etc. And I was like, I think I saw this one as a little gift. So although we only have 10 grams, it's going to be good enough for me to tell whether I like it or not. And then I can review it to you guys. Another one from Bandai Sands is the Refreshing Up Nourishing Gel Cleanser. We have another travel size. This is 10 mil here. Again, if you want me to see the whole brand review, please let me know because I have a few of their travel sizes and I know I've got a few full sizes. It will be enough for me to test it out for a few weeks and then give you guys a good overall feedback. Palmer's Cocoa Coca Butter Formula with Vitamin E Softens Moi soft Smoothes 24 Hours Moisture. I'm trying to see if this is a balmy or... I think it's a multi balm product like you can use it for day cream body cream or even use it to any dry areas oh it smells so good we have this at work as a hand cream oh i love it it brings work vibe which is not something i'm so enjoy but when i'm at work every time i use this i actually feel like a bit of relaxation one more sunscreen from Cancer Console Face Day Wear Serum Hydration Dewy Finish SPF 50 Plus. I've reviewed, well, I haven't posted that video. I am about to review this sunscreen very soon. I'm in the process of testing. There are a couple from Cancer Console. One I think is my new favorite. Um, one is a lot of things to talk about. So I'm going to keep my feelings about it. I don't think any of the sunscreen from cancer console was bad but some of the experience might not be as good as so even if you found you don't like it to use on your face by whatever the reason you can still use it on your body so it's still really good sunscreen have really high coverage and as in uva and uvb protection i believe this is another full size that i'm seeing the dr levin's ultra 4 collagen surge plumping gel day and night the full size of this one is 30 grams because i remember when i first received it i think i have another one i was really worried that i was just purchasing a wrong product because it's only got 30 grams but this is what it is it has this little bins inside so have their own technology and to give you this instant plums and keep skin tied with hyaluronic acid in there to feel reduce the lines smooth moisturizer boost the door tie the skin left a feeling sub and silk smooth after use. Dr. Levin's Ultra R4 line has some really good product, especially their uh, face mask and their eye mask are relatively very affordable, relatively very affordable, um, especially when they're on sale, it's more affordable and they have good results for like soothing, moisturizing and that instant plumping effect as they suggested. I feel like that's pretty much everything for skincare wise. I do have a few such a, but they're a bit of a mixture of skincare and hair care, etc. We do have one full size uh, single sheet mask from Olay Luminous Nice and my Vitamin C. I just used this the other day, like literally. I used my last one and now I have one more. They have a whole line of different ones, different colors, all look very similar. I do think this is the best out of the line. Some of the others sheet is somehow just a little bit more thicker or maybe the serum inside is a little bit more too thick to penetrate through the sheet but this is one that I would recommend if you want to purchase anything from this Olay Luminous Niacinamide sheet mask line. Another one of my favorite is this pimple patch. This is by Skin Control. This is the brand. They have this travel sizes online for you to claim as a free example when you spend over $30 as well. They have two AM versions, which is like almost invisible, two slightly thicker PM versions, and a little big large patches. It's actually, I can cut the large one to certain areas. Oh, if you happen to have an acne area, not necessarily on the face, sometimes on the body is kind of like uh, annoyed as well. It does work really well. I love this when I go for travel as well as every month when it goes through hormonal changes. Few sachets from L'Oreal. I have two of their Age Perfect Cell Renewing Midnight Serums. I got a feeling that I've tried this in my project pan and I did not like it. Not hating, but not loving it. 
couple more from L'Oreal here is their new Revital Lift the Laser Pressed Cream Night with Retinol and Niacinamide and another two I believe the same line but this is their Night Serum that sounds really good and two of each is actually better than one of each because you can just use it for more than one days to have a good feel about it one more sachet for skincare is the Trilogy Brightening and Smooth Vitamin C Ceramide Night Cream. Whoa, this one sounds really good. We've got two mil here. We have, let me just quickly look at the ingredient. We have a whole bunch of oils like Trilogy. They are great for their rose heap oil and we have it here. And then we have sodium ascorbate B Falsified, a good vitamin C derivatives. Then we have aloe vera um a few more oils coming cacao plum fruit extract and then we have ceramide that is not bad and vitamin e morph oil and this one does contain fragrance i'm actually pretty surprised by the ingredients here it's not super long and in this ingredient list there are quite some good stuff in there i worry if it's going to be a little bit too thick considering all the oils it have in there but i'm really keen to give it a go i don't even know to have this all right, let's talk about hair care. We start with this husk argan from Morocco oil repair and deep conditioner. I've used two full size in my project pan and I did not like the fishy scent, but I've saw so many people actually really enjoying this and giving this as a gift when they're traveling. So it must be me not responding well to the scent. It just like the other hair serum that I used before. I hated the scent and it was such a highly raped product. No one ever mentioned about the scent. So sometimes it's really personal experience wise. It's a good conditioner. Like it does what it says. It does as a conditioner do. It's not super as a mask. It's just like a general standard conditioner in my opinion. But I personally just disliking the scent. Then we have the Palmer's again, Coca Butter Formula. This is really generous in size. We have a 15ml shampoo and then a 15ml conditioner. They could potentially put into little bottles, but I like how it's like slim packed so you can take it with you when you're for travel. If you're staying there for a couple of days, just leave it there, finish, use it, gone. A tail comp by my beauty i got a feeling i have one of these similar ones before so it's really good if you want to do some hair styling things which unlike me i'm so messy i usually just bun it up and that's it we also have a soaking skin relief body wash this is a 15 ml for sensitive and de-stressed skin i saw someone having the cream which i have the cream before from uh priceline I don't know if I still have the cream or I might actually give it away to my friends because I know Suking is a really good brand. If I go back to China, I would definitely purchase from Suking, Swiss, uh, Native as well. These are the things that I would definitely go ahead and purchase along with a lot of supplements because they're well known by their supplements. Um, yeah, I, I love the small size that I can give it to my friend. It doesn't feel like it's such a big bottle. It's just nice, elegant and it's travel friendly. I do see maybe two makeup products. I'm really happy. You can consider this as a makeup or not, but I really love how they're skincare, body care heavy. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Mattifying Primer. I received a Maybelline primer from the last year's beauty bag and I think it was a baby pore minimizing primer or something because we have this one got SPF 20 as well and we have 10 mils here. Oh, that's actually quite generous because usually a primer is 30 mils, so that's like one third. Oh, the other makeup product is a beauty tool by the brand My Beauty. It's a blending sponge. I just recently got rid of my uh, Technique, Real Techniques one, which I used it for a very long time, but I really loved it. I am currently going through this. It's a bit dirty. By the brand KM, I received this from Bella Box. It's okay, but I love the real techniques definitely way better. So I'm really keen to give this one a go and see how it feels. I do think they are more affordable than the real techniques ones. We're getting there. We're getting close to the bottom of it. We only have four products to show. Couple of dental care, as always, in all gift bags here in Australia. Uh, Colgate White Expert High Impact Toothpaste. This is a full size and we have 40 grams. I think it's a travel full size. 
Um, my dad really liked Colgate products. He got the toothbrush, he got the toothpaste, so I can definitely pass this one to him. And then my favorite brand, White and Glow Whitening Toothpaste. Let me see, is this the one that I like or not so much? I think this is the one I'm currently using. Yes, it's the like white color toothpaste, like a standard one. Don't hate it, but it's not my favorite from the line. I still like their other line before they change the packaging. Those are still better. I really need to go stock up at the Kmart because I don't know if they still have it. They used to have it at Big W as well, but I think they're just fading away slowly. Yeah, I really need to stock that up because I love that. A hand sanitizer, which is great still for this time of the year, although we don't think it's as needed as before, but I think having a good habit of cleaning your hand, keeping everything nice and uh, bacteria free, is a great idea, it's a great habit to have. The uh, Palmolive hand sanitizer in the Japanese cherry blossom scent. Oh, it's pretty. It's great for summer, actually. I don't think I like this one. It's very sweet. Um, so it's probably more for the summertime. In the winter time, I would think this is a little bit too fresh. The last but not least, it's a full size, but this again, I think is very personal. Whether you like it or not, it's a root touch up product in the shade four, matches dark brown. It actually kind of looks like my color. My hair is black, but when you have sunlight go directly, it definitely looks like slightly hazelnutty. Hazelnutty. <laughs> getting this word from you get me so we have a permanent color cream and we have a color activator and then a precise brush and a bowl i might get my mom use this because definitely like that's what they're suggesting my mom doesn't have long hair but she is always complaining her hair is getting grayer i mean you know when you get wise this is what happens to you I've noticed the same when I go swimming after taking a shower at a swimming pool because I blow dry my hair and that really makes those gray hair trying to stand out along with the black ones. I really hate it. There's one day I was trying to pull it off and there's a little kid walking behind me just like, what is she doing? I was like, you don't get it kid. Wait until you're getting, when you're knocking on the 30s door. I am literally knocking on the door and I love it the fact that i'm getting more matured and have more independent life and i like i'm happy with the way i am at the same time i kind of wish i'm still in my early 20s because there are some great fun times anyway that concludes everything in here um i'm just gonna quickly count how many products that i've got We have 19 proper products in here and that's not including like this sheet mask can could count as one. This hairbrush, mm, I didn't count it. The makeup tool, didn't count it. So it's well over 20 products here and most of them either full size or very, very generous travel size. And I didn't care. I didn't count the hand sanitizer as well because I know they're kind of like, ah. Uh, I really do enjoy this bag for $60 with very heavy skincare on. I think it's a really good one, especially you do have something you want to purchase from the chemist warehouse. And if they're already on sale and you're getting this one, it's a great value. And not mention, I love the bag itself. So I think at least 20 proper products in here. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you reckon of this free gift bag. Is it better than the last year ones? I'll leave a link somewhere so you can compare i don't think there's any repeated products there are repeated brands because there are just only so many brands that were participating here in australia but i think the products are really different to the last year so you don't have to worry if you got the last year ones and you feel like there's still a lot left over to use surely this will cover you for another year if you are someone being really conscious with your skincare if you're like me having a tons of skincare products then some of these might be really good to share with friends and families because holiday season is coming up and these are proper good full sizes you can pack it with along something else you might want to purchase a couple as they're on 50 percent sale and then as a gift for family friends yes let me know what you think of this and if you liked today's video don't forget to give me a like and consider subscribe down below i will see you guys very soon in my next video bye always coffee start. I need to get a straw actually today. Oh, isn't that nice? Have a coffee to start of the day. <clears throat>
one of the main things when I want to get this bag is because they have this Avene compact acid. Also by the brand My Vibe. 